when the narcissist knows you're onto them. When you figure them out, you're going to become indifferent. You're not going to care about them anymore. Because you know it's all a game. And when that happens, they will sense it and they will try to test it. Because they can tell that your feelings have changed. They will even tone down their behaviour. They will stop doing whatever they think is bothering you. They will pretend to adjust because they already know exactly how to behave. They know how to act right. But they want to do what they want to do. They want to act how they want to act and they just expect you to tolerate it. Which is why they rely so heavily on their manipulation. Because it's meant to make you put up with it. It's meant to make you doubtful and uncertain. It's meant to make you confused. Because sometimes they act normally. To show you that they can act right if they want to. But then it makes you question why they don't act how you want them to act. And the reason why they don't do that is because they're preparing you and training you for a specific purpose. Sometimes they act right. Sometimes they cooperate with you. But most of the time they don't. And it's meant to show you that they are capable. They can act right if they want to. Which leads you to hold on to hope and expectation of them changing or being better because you've seen them behave properly. You just don't understand why it's not consistent. But that is their disorder. That's what makes them a narcissist. They can't adapt or change. They can't be what you want. They can't do what you want. They are incapable of that. And when you finally realize and accept that, they will sense it and they will test you. To see how much their behavior has affected you. To see if it has really changed your mind about them. To see if you're getting ready to leave them. Because that will tell them what they need to do next. To make you feel better. To win you over again. But it won't last for long. They gave you glimpses of this magnificent character in the beginning who was everything you could have wanted them to be. But then they began to make excuses for why they've changed. They said it was because of something you were doing. To make you think that you were the problem. So that you ended up trying to fix something. When there wasn't even a problem for you to fix. Because it had nothing to do with you. And the narcissist knew this the entire time. They knew that you weren't the problem. Even though they were arguing with you every day and looking for things to be wrong, they already knew that there was nothing wrong with you. But while you're trying to fix things, they go back to causing disruption. And it leaves you confused because you don't understand what is wrong with them. But once you first catch on to it, they will try to behave well. They will act polite and friendly. They will give you compliments. They will express their gratitude to pretend like they understand what they've done wrong and they're trying to correct it. But they don't really care. 
They're just doing it to pull you back in while they're looking for someone else to replace you because they already know what is about to happen. They've seen it happen before. So when they know that you know they're not really about anything, they will slow down. They will pretend to act right. But while they're doing that, they will be pursuing someone else behind your back. They will be looking to replace you. Because by that point, you're a lost cause. You don't respond to them the way that you used to. You don't care about anything. So they know it's only a matter of time until you leave them. So they've got to beat you to the punch. And this is when they will start to support and encourage their new source. They will go out on dates with them. And they will try to advance them to the primary position. They will try to get them to take your place. And this is where their mask will come all of the way off. This is where they will really try to affect you. Because now they know you don't care. Now they know you've figured them out. So at this point they don't have anything to lose. They will show you exactly who they are. They will show you that they never cared about you. They may even tell you that they were just using you and playing you the entire time. They may say that they were only with you because they didn't have anything better to do. Because they want to break you. They want to tear you down. They will tell you they were cheating on you the entire time. They were seeing other people the entire time you were together because they want to crush you before they leave. So this is what the narcissist will do when they know you figure them out. They will try to destroy you. They will try to crush you because you gained an advantage over them. You figure them out so it's all over. Because even if you did go back, it wouldn't give them the same rush as someone who doesn't know what they're about. As someone who sees them as perfect and innocent. Because that's what they're really looking for. But with you, you've been through so many arguments and situations with them. And they know that you remember everything they've said and done to you. So they know you're never going to see them the same way. But the narcissist wants someone to react to them without any setbacks or limitations, without anything holding them back. With someone who has never had any bad experiences with them, those are the types of situations they prefer. When you are no longer emotionally affected by the narcissist, you have won, you have defeated them, because that is the only position they have. To have you emotionally invested and involved in them. To where they can do what they want to do. And have you always willing and ready to do whatever they ask. And even if you don't do what they want you to do. They can do something to upset you. They can do these things to hurt you. Which also gives them fuel. So as long as they can affect you emotionally, they still have power over you. But when they see that they can no longer affect you, they know it's game over and they're not even going to pretend anymore. But they will test you to see if you're really done or if you're just angry and you just needed some time to calm down. Because they want to hold you off until they're ready to get this new person to take your place. Because when they know you're onto them, you become a lost cause. You have no use to them. If you don't care anymore, it's time for them to go. Because they know when their time is up. They may try to get back with you, but they know it's not going to last for long. And you will just end up in a situation where they have someone else on the side. Where they will be doing things boldly. 
where they will be doing things right in front of you while still pretending as though they want to work things out with you and be loyal to you. They will just end up playing you even more. So once you've seen them do it once, you should choose to move on in a respectful and dignified way. Don't fall for the trap because they will say that they want to work things out. They will say that they should have done more for you, but don't fall for it. It's just future faking. They're just messing with you while they're waiting for another opportunity to come their way. So having any involvement with them is just a recipe for disaster. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.